Um, Alright, welcome. In this video, I'll give you a quick introduction on how to use and configure Boink, B-O-I-N-C. Um, I think I explained what uh, it is in my last video, but basically it lets you use um, your computing resources for projects like, you know, uh, uh, like, you know, uh, fighting sicknesses like computing uh, things uh, just uh, s uh, yeah searching for extraterrestrial life all kinds of uh, great projects but anyway I'll gonna start the boink manager right now um, here it is I have all of my uh, this is a uh, program I have all of my um, projects that are running in tabs right now and here I'll show you how uh, to do some configuration so there's a preferences button and I would click I want to customize prefer preferences for this computer only and you can do all these preferences to help make sure that um, that you know it doesn't use up too much uh, resources while you're uh, using your computer um, as you can see I've said I uh, do work f after idle for three minutes uh, and use more no more than 40 percent of the processor it's probably not a good idea to use uh, you know like uh, 70 or more something cause that can I've in my experience that can uh, crash your computer uh, but anyway that's pretty straightforward uh, uh, here let me show you the advanced view um, this is the advanced view. Here's my notices uh, here. And here's a list of my projects. So, as you can see, when I click on any one of them, I have these options to go to their website. Uh, I have the tasks that are work that the computer is working on. Well, they're all suspended because I'm using the computer. Um, here's a, um, a statistics for uh, uh, my contributions and here's the disk usage uh, pretty straightforward anyway I hope this uh, tutorial shows you a little bit about Boink I'll try to do another tutorial about it